show you how to link get your GitHub repository with RStudio Cloud if you're using that. So first step is to navigate to a repository that you have on GitHub. You can see one of the previous videos for how to do that. Okay, so I copy the URL of this repository. It's right up here. I copy that. Then I'm going to navigate to our Studio Cloud. I'm going to click Your Workspace. Then click New Project. New Project from Git Repository. And paste that in. Okay. It's going to take a moment to deploy that. Um, while it's doing that, I'm going to um, copy this uh, information right here that I'm going to need. So I'm going to have to type that in. Okay, let's go back here. Okay. So uh, first thing that you need to do is tell um, our studio that you want to use uh, Git. So you click on Tools, and then um, Global Options, then down here, and then check that box. That's all you need to do. All right, so um, first time that you want to use Git with a new repository. So we, we pulled this repository in. Um, so it's got the readme there that's from GitHub. It just says week one. But the first time we want to use Git with this, we have to tell Git who we are. And unfortunately, you have to do this with every um, project that you have in GitHub in our, our Studio Cloud. So you go down here, you click the terminal, and then I'm going to paste in that, that bit that I just copied it, which is git config global user email, and then I need to tell it my email. Um, you can actually put anything here. Let's just, uh, sorry. Technically, you could put garbage there. It just needs a value. It's not actually going to email you. Um, this is used um, to identify your commits. And you can imagine if you're working on a team, you need to know who's doing the commits on the team. So that that's just what this is. So you need to run those two things. It's not get can fit, but. Oops, config. Okay, so that's all I need to do. So I need to do that piece, and then uh, it should work. It'll probably ask me for my username and password. So let's just do a hello here. So I edited a file, save that. And now if I go to the Git tab over here, and now I want to commit that. So I'm going to check on that, commit that. This window pops up, and then you add a message about it. Um, added uh, some text. And I click commit. And another thing comes up, tells me what happened. It doesn't tell you success or anything, but when it stops, it's success. So you can close that. And now I can um, uh, push this change. But let's let's do it from over here. Okay, I can do it here. Um, you notice here this says your branch is ahead of origin. Origin means uh, GitHub, the remote, by one commit. So it means that uh, locally I have a commit and it's not on GitHub. And this green arrow is the push. So I'm going to push that. And you see now it asks for my username. So I'm just going to enter that. So that's my GitHub username. And then now it would ask for my password. So if I enter my password, then it's going to successfully push those changes up. 
um, and that's it. Your, uh, your entry for your username and password will last for a while, but not forever, so you will periodically have to um, enter this again when you're using RStudio Cloud.